Hi there folks, it's your host for Dartmoor um, in June and it's um, we're going to uh, Scorn Hill Stone Circle, you see the sign over there, that's how it's spelled, and uh, we're just on the way over the hill and we're going to think about wild camping there, so um, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay folks, I'm um, just going up the Scorn Hill more and it's got a new sign, I've not seen this before, it says no cycling. Okay, well I don't see the problem in cycling up here, I don't know why they can't. Uh, it says no fires, okay that's kind of fair enough because it's dry at the moment. But it says no drones, okay, I, won't f I don't fly my drone when there's loads of people about because it annoys people, I know that. But if there's no one about I don't see the problem, so yeah that's a new sign. Look at that folks, no wind whatsoever up here on uh, Scorn Hill Moor, Hill on the way to the uh, Scorn Hill Stone Circle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay folks, so we've got uh, some Highland cattle here on uh, Dartmoor on Scorn Hill. Looks like there's another hiker coming up the hill. Can't see any tents though at the moment. Yep. Can't see any tents at the moment. But, uh, yeah. Okay folks, you join me at Scorn Hill Stone Circle. Been here a couple of months ago, but the midges are a real problem here at the moment. They're really bad. Um, yeah, we've been bitten to death basically. Okay, folks, you join me at uh, Scorn Hill Stone Circle. Um, last time I was here was about two months ago, when there was actually snow up here. It's quite a lot of snow reach minus six at night I think at some point it was very windy now it's very different it's got a lot of people up here camping there's a few people up here camping but the midges are like oh my god they're terrible they're that bad um, I can handle them I, I'm, not, I'm fine with them but my friend um, she's really struggling she's really struggling with the midges they are pretty bad so um, we're thinking about giving Dartmoor a miss when the buses run again on Monday, it's going to be Sunday tomorrow and um, do some wild camping along the Cornish coast because there's going to be a breeze along there and this is pretty horrendous up here for the flies I have to say at the moment. So um, the sun is set on the uh, Scorn Hill Stone Circle, I'm about to go back to the tent so I think uh, my mates who's having some problems with the flies so I better go back over there before, before um, I'm probably going to be told off, and probably, yeah, it's pretty bad for her. It's not. It, I mean, the flies are horrendous. I mean, they're like thousands of them. So um, I've been bitten to death as well. I get allergic reactions to the flies. So um, yeah, it's not good. Definitely, um, it's it's that bad that it's not worth cooking outside unless you want to eat loads of flies in your food. It's that sort of like horrendous, like you get in the highlands when it's bad. It is actually comparable to the highlands. I say it's as bad as the highlands gets in the summer. So, of Scotland. So um, that's that's how bad it is for midges at the moment here in Dartmoor. So folks, this is um, this is where we're wild camping tonight by School Hill Stone Circle. Sorry, Hill Stone Circle. Shitloads of midges about. There's my tent. That's my tent there. And uh, over there is a water source. Actually, over there we're camped right next to a sort of like channel of water, running, uh, running water. But at the moment we're just gonna eat food we can eat without cooking. Otherwise, we're gonna have food full of eat loads of flies. If we try cooking outside, it's that bad. So yeah, uh, fantastic view. Hi there folks, anyway still at Scorn Hill Stone Circle, um, with a fantastic landscape on Dartmoor, very midgeified at the moment, lots of midges, as bad as Scotland when midge season, um, it's been no, there's no wind, it's damp, it's hot, well it's morning at the moment but it will be hot later. Um, yeah, 
not great for camping really. Pretty much impossible to make cook any food without getting flies in. But what a beautiful morning. That's gone all stone circle. So the sun rises is rise behind me. Um, would have got the sunset yesterday when we got here, but there was folks at the stone circle, so didn't really want a video then. Sun's just come out of the clouds. Fantastic stone circle. Yeah, that's the biggest stone of them all in the stone circle. I've been here before, I've got done video but it was very windy and uh, maybe not so great for photos or video. So yeah, there's the biggest stone of them all. And there's the, the view from the stones, the sun behind me.
Okay folks, so I had to dub this because it was too windy. This is Little Hound Tour Stone Circle. I was last here up here when um, there was snow, it was minus six, um, absolutely freezing and now I'm back here for May.
Okay folks, we're walking along this old rover's path um, to Wild Camp at the Stone Row, which I was last at two months ago. Uh, wild camping in the uh, in the snow. Okay folks, at the um, self um, zeal uh, stone line, there's a car here. Probably with some kind of burial in here, possibly. I don't know, I'm just guessing. And uh, I was here last in uh, when it was snowing about two months ago. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Folks, it's just the sun is just setting. So this is um, obviously a reconstruction because the stone's not under sediment or falling. So it's obviously been reconstructed at some point. But um, fascinating, still nonetheless, nonetheless fascinating. It possibly, I mean, it could have gone on for much longer than what's showing now. There might be stones under the ground they didn't um, re reconstruct um, there you go. yeah and it carries on for a little bit over there I don't think it goes on much farther but yeah it's just a sunset in now <laughs> Okay. 
Okay folks, well I've just noticed this uh, standing stone here, it looks like a standing stone. I didn't notice it the last time I was up here. It could be part of a st another stone line, I don't know. It looks like it could be part of another stone line. Or is it part of a wall? That's definitely some kind of line. I'm not sure if that's part of a stone wall or a... It's a big stone though. Hmm. It's hard to tell if it's uh, part of a stone row. It's like a standing stone, and it also kind of looks like it could be like some kind of land wall. Hard to tell, really. Thank you. 